Good morning. Today's soap is uh, brought to us by uh, Razor Rock. And this one here is a citrus scented stick soap. That's what it looks like there on the back side. If I remember right, this is about two and a half, two point six 2.6 ounces. Uh, 75 grams according to the label. They kind of, these sticks, you know, when you get them, they kind of vary different sizes. I see them go as small as uh, 1.4 ounces. And, but this one here is closer to, it's what, 2.6, 2.5. That's about the, I guess you might say, the normal going rate. That shave I'm going to be using today is from Fine Accoutrements. And this one here is Snake Bite. Um, it's got a very nice cooling effect after the shave. Um, blade of the day is going to be a feather blade. This will be the second use on this particular blade in the uh, fine accoutrement shaver. It is uh, comes in a box like this, slant razor. And if you didn't see the first go around, I'll show you what the box looks like on the inside without the razor. Cap was covered up with this part right here, help keep it from getting scratched up. Got the uh, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements <laughs> Allen Block, at least what's left of it. No rubber band this morning. And we're going to be using Humphreys Witch Hazel. It's got menthol and peppermint in it. And this particular container is a bit larger than what I normally have. This one here is a 16 ounce. I got usually got a smaller container, one not quite as large. Also, I've got the uh, brush here. This came, by the way, of uh, Mac Metalworks. It's got a synthetic knot. I think I'll squeeze just a little bit more water out of it. Make sure I don't have too much water. I were to put a hot towel to the face and uh, coconut oil for my pre-shave oil. And I think I'm going to go ahead and get started here. My shaver I'll show you here in just a second. From Fine Accoutrements, it's the slant razor that they offer. And uh, yesterday's shave uh, was just really nice very smooth uh, for me my experience is very comparable to the fine marvel um, and if you have any experience with the uh, razor rock uh, baby smooth uh, not too far from that it was a very smooth very comfortable shave yesterday um, i was at that i was expecting a good shave but that Yesterday's shave was just awesome. In other words, uh, I couldn't even really tell that there was a uh, feather blade in the shaver. Very smooth and comfortable. Easy going. Uh, typically, I like shavers that have some weight behind them. This one here, if I remember right, weighs 1.1 ounces. I think it was 80 grams if I remember right. Something like that. Can't remember exactly how much it is. I've got all that information down below. But uh, it's very lightweight. Really nice shaver. I was expecting a good shave. I just didn't, wasn't expecting one so smooth. We'll see how uh, the feather blade works on a second shave. I'm expecting everything to be okay. Usually when it comes to blades, it's one and done. But with the feather blade, I'm expecting to be able to get more than just, uh, how can you say, one shave out of the blade. I usually can. I'm just putting a little bit of soap here on the brush here. Trying to make sure I get plenty of soap. <laughs> I had a good shave yesterday. It was just awesome. One of the uh, tidbits of information uh, from Razor Rock about these stick soaps says that according to them, they think it takes about 15 to 20 shaves of face lathering before you, I guess you might say, get kind of proficient at face lathering, which is not surprising. I bow lather much better, 
but I am getting much better at face lathering. I will say to you, this is one of the first videos you've seen with me trying to learn how to face lather is it is messy. You get soap and water everywhere. At least I do. I haven't quite hit that 15 to 20 shades just yet. You can kind of tell it's, for me, with the kind of uh, lather that I normally work with, this is getting pretty close. It's not a real fluffy lather, but more like a creamy lather. It definitely wet. This still feels a little oddly enough with all the water and everything going everywhere. Um, Still feels a little thick. In other words, not quite wet enough. It might be close enough though, especially as the shade goes on. My nose is not working very well. The past few days it's been pretty tough. I kind of smell something. <laughs> That's about as good as it gets. <laughs> so speaking to the scent strength of the soap, I really couldn't speak to it. Here's our shaver of the day. Fine accoutrement slant. This is made out of uh, aircraft aluminum, nice and polished up. Just a slight overhang on the razor. You can kind of see what the end there it looks. Like just a very, it's a bit unique as it goes for the shape. You know, it's kind of typical, but the uh, the cap and the base plate, especially the base plate, it's got a different shape there, there on the inside. It's got a little bit of a, like a notch on each end. Don't know if you can see that blade exposure. And that's what it looks like there on the end. Pretty cool. Now you see, it's very lightweight. And uh, I know a lot of times, you know, folks, when they get razors, it's the... Uh, let the weight of the shaver and the sharpness of the blade do the work. This one here, you're going to have to have a little bit more of a skill set. Get the uh, shave that you're looking for. Pressure, angle. Angle's not too tough, to be honest with you. Pressure would be your challenge. And I think it even says that on the fine website that it might have been in a review that I was reading I would uh, go with what I usually find in the, with the instructions with an R41 is the uh, gentle pressure approach But it is really easy to use. At least that's been my experience. As it goes for the blade how it's feeling, it's doing pretty good. It's the uh, against the green pass will be the real challenge in my opinion. That's the uh, <laughs> that's when you usually tell how well the blade's holding up. It was a great shave yesterday. The uh, snake bite af aftershave uh, for me it's not the when you first initially pull it put it on uh, that's uh, how you say not the height of the uh, the cooling effect is after it's been on there just a, a moment then you, you can just feel it really starting to work on you it's been kind of cold here so I thought it might be appropriate Lows have been down below freezing at night. It's been cold. I think with the wind chill, it's down around 17, something like that. Lows around the mid-20s. But 
today it got up a little bit warmer and today it'll be even better yet but in other words the other what was it monday uh the high was 34. <laughs> Just a little bit cold. So when it starts to get up around 40, it feels like a heat wave. For me, this uh, soap is a vegan soap, by the way. And uh, it seems to do rather well. I kind of surprised on the, I guess you might say the, the, the glide of the razor with this soap. Not quite like a tallow, but it's not that far from it in my opinion. It has definitely has got reasonable slickness to it. Just a little bit of feedback on the Across the green pass and I noticed yesterday against the green especially the closer you get to this area here oh, that reminds me there is quite a bit of feedback I was watching Tim's <laughs> video he's using a park SRX shave vet and he's talking about how much better his shaves are going because he's not having to shave around on, on his chin and whatnot he felt like he was cheating <laughs> the way I was looking at it it's good to be bad <laughs> Yeah, not having to shave the upper lip and the chin area makes a world of difference. Is that grease? The Instagram pass, you can hear it. And I bet you, even on this next pass, there'll still be some feedback over there. It's a really nice shaver. I, I'm glad I got it. Oh, and I should mention I got a link for the for the uh, shaver, but of course the price has changed. I may have misunderstood when I ordered it. I only thought that it was the price at seventy five dollars was only supposed to be for like two days or something like that, a very short amount of time. And it seemed to be up in available for $75 for for a while but now it's coming back up to I say back up it was a hundred dollars before it dropped to 75 and the uh, I guess you might say the original price the starting price when it first came out if I remember correctly was $125 that's the reason why I didn't get it because it was a bit more than what I would care to spend because, in my opinion, and I know this is depending on the budget, but in other words, I was, how can you say, saving my pennies. Uh, when I start to get up around $125, what that means to me is that now I'm starting to look more towards to saving more money and get a uh, replated uh, Fat Boy, for instance. Something along those lines. There's plenty of soap in this uh brush definitely can get another pass out of it still experimenting with uh, brush knots and whatnot and I would say if uh, you're just starting out shaving period I would stick with one brush most likely I would say a synthetic is not a bad way to go and probably one that's got a uh, Sometimes uh, when you look at the websites, they'll tell you what generation the uh, the knot is. Um, don't think don't think I've got it handy here. Oh, here it is. <clears throat> For instance, a knot like this one here is not a bad knot. I can I can work with it. I don't mind using it. But this was not the uh, this is not the worst. Not a fourth generation knot. It's not pack near as dense as for instance it's this one here that I'm using today but as it goes for bow lathering it works just fine it's just that for me I found that uh, face lathering is not necessarily the best in the world um, when I was on vacation uh, this past summer the uh, uh, 
omega uh, s, in other words, synthetic, that I'd have to say that brush there, I did really w pretty good on the trying to learn to do some face lather when I was on vacation. I was kind of surprised that uh, that particular brush, the bristles is trying to simulate a boar brush, of course, from Omega. And uh, like I said, it did really well. It's the one that has a small knot. I can't remember what the model number is. So in other words, it'd be around like a 22 millimeter, 21 millimeter. Right there. I know if I was shaved with a shave that and had to shave my chin, it'd be quite a challenge to do it without any wafers. It's the whiskers are not only thick in diameter, so densely populated right through there. It's always been a problem when I did shave there. It's just a real tough area to shave. Very smooth shave today. I could tell the difference in between the first shave and the second shave with this blade. Still pretty smooth shave, but I can tell the difference. Face feels very smooth. Yesterday with the Allen block, I had very little stinging, not a whole lot, nothing to get you my teeth that would concern me about. Maybe my technique was a little bit off or, or anything like that. In other words, too much pressure, because for me that would be one of the, the problems with a light razor for me, is putting too much pressure on it. Because usually with, like say, with a heavier razor, weight of the razor, sharpness of the blade, letting it do the job. This one here is gentle pressure and it'll do just fine. At least that's my experience. And this is only my second time using it, but after yesterday, I thought, oh yeah, I'm definitely ready for the video because this yesterday's shave went so well. Lathering with this uh, soap from Razor Rock was pretty easy with this brush. I said I got just a little bit of stingy right up underneath my neck, right about here. Just, it's nothing that, how can you say that I would be concerned about, that I'd need to go back and revisit it, see what I was doing wrong. It's a feather blade. <laughs> That's another way of looking at it. <laughs> a little bit of stinging is not a bad thing. Usually my goal is just to have just a little bit or none. In other words, keep on working on my technique. I'll do another video with this shaver with a different blade just to get the experience to see what it's like. But I really like this shaver. I'm so glad I got it. But I have to say though, for me, when you get up to $125 and I know it's a chunk more, you throw in another, what, 50 bucks or something like that replated fat boy and that's for me that's my thinking when I get that high up on the prices peppermint on this is really doing a great job right now and then you top it off with a snake bite yeah I mean you could, you could, you, I could just feel it working when I first put it on it's, it's there you notice that it's there we give it just a couple of minutes and then it really starts to go to work at least that's been my experience with it I do like these kind of aftershaves. That's another thing in my opinion with a number of these uh, stick soaps. Most of them will have a, uh, a scent to them, but they're not uh, to the point where after the shave is done that you still smell the, the scent of the soap. Typically for me that's not the case. And some of them are lightly scented to begin with that after that. Uh, using whatever shave, aftershave scented that you want. Uh, in other words, the two aren't going to interfere with each other, at least especially with my nose. I won't notice the difference. This is not the only one that I have. 
uh, from Razor Rock that stick soap. Uh, I got the pack, the four pack, if you will. I think four of them are on sale right now for, I think, about $12. Not a bad buy. Really nice. It's cooling right now. This feels really, really nice. I like this. I'll go ahead and take this apart, show what it looks like on the inside. In case you didn't see the one yesterday, it's... It's well done. Really nice shaver. Got a nice shine to it. So what it looks like on the underside, and I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, there's a little bit of, uh, I guess you might say, um, I don't know if it's tool markings on the underside or not. It's just a tiny little bit. You see these little lines. For me, nothing that, that concerns me or I'm upset about or anything like that. It's on the underside. It's just fine as far as I'm concerned. That's what it looks there underneath the cap and get this held up right that's what the blade looks like it's a feather blade I'll go ahead and put this I guess you might say in the retirement center once again there's the top of the cap there's the underside you might see some tool marks on there for me I really didn't didn't bother me a bit really don't care it's it's finished enough on the inside that and, you know some effort was put out to make it look nice and shiny and it does shine but uh <laughs> very nice shaver awesome had a great shave today hope everybody's doing well stay safe and smooth shaves to you